Welcome. In this video, I'm going to take a look at scanning at 1200 DPI on an HP multifunction printer. And this is a 477 series. There's a number of different models of this. And I'll put a link in the description of this printer. And if you buy one of these printers using my link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this should apply to other HP multifunction printers. So what I go through here will probably apply to other multifunction devices by HP. So if we go on the little touchpad here and we hit scan, we have different options to where you can scan. I'll scan to network because I do have that set up. Otherwise you could scan to a USB drive. And then I have scan to folder and I'll put this in there. This is a little picture I have. And we have our settings here. So I can hit settings and choose scan resolution. And it only goes up to 600. If we go to scan file type, let's change that to JPEG. Same thing, 600, paper size, letter, Oops. 600. So this maxes out at 600. So if you want to scan at 1200 DPI, you have to go into the HP software to do that. So I'm going to switch over to my Mac and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so I'm on my computer here and this is the printer I'm using. It's an M477 FDW. There are so many different models of printers now. It used to be easy. Now it's not. A lot of them probably use the same software. So there are at least two different ways on a Mac to scan at 1200 DPI. So this one won't apply to Windows, but I'll go through it quick. I'll go to my hard drive and then applications and I'll go to image capture. I'll open that up. And under shared devices here, if I hit show, we'll see the scanner. And then down at the bottom, we can hit show details. And here we can change the resolution to 1200 DPI. So I guess I can just scan this real quick. So while I'm doing that, I'll go over the second method. You want to go to hp.com, go to support, software and drivers, click on that. You want to choose printer. It says enter your product name. So I'll type M477FDW, I'll hit submit. I'll close this first option and I'll go to the second one where it says driver. It says install HP Easy Start. I'll download that. I'll allow the download. I'll open it up. I'll double click it to start the install. I'll hit open. I'll agree to the terms. I'll hit continue. So it says make sure the printer's on and on the network. So I'll hit continue. It says select the device you want to use, so I'll select that and I'll hit continue. Okay, it's asking us what we want to install, so I'll choose both options here. I'll hit install, and we want that HP Easy Scan. Okay, it's asking for my password. I'll enter that in. Okay, it's asking for my password again. Okay, it's finished, so I'll hit continue. So I can set up alerts here. I don't want to do that, I'll hit continue. It's asking if I want to print or scan a test page. I'll just continue from here. But you could do that, especially if you're having trouble, you could try doing that. This is a reminder to install Rediris Pro. I'll just continue here. And we have continue online. So I'll click that. Okay, it says my setup is complete. So I'll close this, close this. And the scan completed here quite a while ago. That was a long install. So now in my applications, I can go to HP Easy Scan. Under scanner here, it should show your scanner. So I'll click on that. And then we have presets general purpose. I want to click on that. And then I want to go to edit settings. Under presets, I want to go to photos, graphics, etc. We have type as picture, orientation portrait, mode as color, resolution. We can go to 1200 DPI here, and we have crop to item bounds. So we see this caution symbol on the right here. If I hover over that, it says scanning with high resolution values may significantly increase scanning time and file size without improving perceived image quality. As a general rule, use 200 for scanning pictures and 300 for scanning documents. And then it says estimated size, uncompressed, unavailable. Now here we have optimized for scanning speed and optimized for image quality. 
So I'll click on the second option because if we're scanning at 1200 DPI, we probably want the best quality. Unfortunately, the picture I put in the scanner isn't really like high quality. I don't know that I have anything I could scan at 1200 DPI and actually look at the detail. So I'll hit done here. I'll hit scan. Okay, it says more to scan. Place the next item on your scanner now. I'll just say done. So now I can go to file and hit save. I'll save this to my desktop. Let's check if you can use the auto document feeder. I don't see any settings here, so I'm guessing you can. You probably just have to put the item in the auto document feeder and it'll probably pull it through. So I'll quit out of here. I'll go to my desktop. Let's check out those two scans. So here's the first one. This is 40 megabytes. The second one is 492 megabytes. That'll probably take a little while to open. I'll just double click on these to open them. So the TIFF is not compressed as well as the JPEG, obviously. So if I go here to Tools and then Inspector, we'll see here it says the pixel height is 13,000, pixel width is 10,000, DPI is 1,200. Let's go to this one. And we have DPI 1,200, we have 16,000 and 10,000 for the height and width. It's going to be slightly different for the height and width, but they're pretty darn close. So it looks like both of these methods worked. Apple scan tool saved it as JPEG, HP saved it as TIFF. If you want the absolute best quality, you're going to go with TIFF probably because it's uncompressed, but the file size is very big, so take that into consideration. So that's some information I want to share on scanning at 1200 DPI. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.